everyone, I'm your guy, and for the first video today, I'm going to show you guys how to make this wig. So, part one will be how to make the wig, and part two will be how to make the closure plus ventilation. So, to get all the details and know everything, just keep on watching till the end. The video will not be long. And for more videos like these, don't forget to click on the subscribe button right down here and to click on the notification bell and also click on the like button and comment thank you so for the wig properly what we need we will need black thread a sewing needle we will need a manual hairbrush we will need an electrical hairbrush to straighten out the hair once we sew the hair onto the wig We'll need a ventilating needle to make the closure and of course a bleed. A bleed or a, see, a pair of scissors. My pair of scissors got back so I'm going to use a bleed for now. And of course we we'll also need the leaves. The leaves which we sew onto the wig cap. So I cut off the closure. I cut off the excess part of the wig cap beneath my sewn in closure. And then this is the excess part. So now this is what we have on the right side of the week. So as you can see, this is what we have on the right side of the week. So the the hair has four bundles. I will use two bundles to make the structure of the week, the body of the week. I will use one bundle to make to fill to fill in the the top part of the, of the wig because i love it a little bit heavy in front and i'm going to use one bundle to make the closure if there's any excess i'll use the excess to fill in the back so let's begin so the wig is halfway done i used two bundles of hair to make it reach this stage and uh, i'll use the remaining bundles to make to fill in the front and to make the closure so let's continue so here we are again i do not want um, the front to look unnatural i wanted it to look as natural as possible so what i did is i divided the hair into strips into little strips as you can see i got the hair into strips and i'm going to lay divided the hair into strips into little strips as you can see I got the hair into strips and I'm going to lay the strips right here to cover some spaces at the very front of the wig so here it is and I'm going to continue sewing this on the wig head and I will show you guys how to do it exactly so now we are going to show some details and I'm going to show you how to sew the the hair on the wig cap so let's begin firstly you will take the needle and try to attach it on the hard part of the hair the hard part not the inner part this strong part of the hair you send the needle inside be very careful with your finger because you can prick yourself and you do not want that once you send it in you make the first stitch I make the first stitch very strong make it um, very stable I mean by sewing two times you do not want the hair to get loosened after just one or two months of usage you want the hair to be very stable now you can continue you send the hair send the needle inside the hair you sew Send the needle inside the hair like this. You sew. You send the needle inside the hair again. And so on and so forth. Keep on sewing till you reach the very end. The stitches should not be too tiny 
that they shouldn't also the stitches should not be too tiny but they shouldn't also be too wide because it will not look very beautiful and it will not be stable enough so you sew again and again so we are approaching the very end we are approaching the end with the wig on